Did raccoons steal baked goods from a county fair in Ohio? We're recreating the crime scene to find out on this episode of The Breakdown. Down goes the cake, the two-tier cake is down. What's up guys, welcome to The Breakdown. I'm Luke Monis, and on this episode, we're taking some raccoons back to the county fair because of this story. Tuesday and Wednesday prior to the fair, we always do our baked good take-ins. We had about 932 entries this year. And when we placed them in the case on Tuesday night, everything was fine. When we got in Wednesday morning, we had noticed about four pieces of bread and three cookies were eaten out of the cases. I just went over to the office and I said, you know, we have a situation. Did you get a good shot of the suspect? Well, no, we actually never saw the suspect, but left his paw prints behind. A picture of one of the cake actually has a complete paw print. It was a raccoon. One thing you didn't see in that package we just played was the raccoons actually stealing. I think we have the mystery of the century on our hands. To get to the bottom of this, we have several live raccoons and a replica of the county fair. And we're gonna reenact that crime. Lee Sheps is on location, interviewing a raccoon expert to learn more. Let's go to Lee. Tell me why you're here today. Uh, because I was contacted to bring some raccoons in to see if it is feasible that the raccoons ate the baked goods at a Ohio County Fair. And what do you think? Preliminary Absolutely. guess. Absolutely. How come? Because they're baked goods, it's food, and they would enjoy it. Does this raccoon have a name? Yes, his name is Hanky. And tell me Hanky's story. How come you have Hanky? Hanky uh, was found in Chatham in a warehouse. Uh, the gentleman that had found him brought him home tried to do what he could for him for a couple of hours and then uh, found a rehabber and he was put in contact with me and here he is. Tell me about your role. I take care of them because without my care or somebody caring enough to get them to a rehabber, they would have passed away. And all this you're allowed to do and have them at home because you're a licensed professional, so you're yes. able to take care of these raccoons. Yes, because I, ha um, I have a state permit. Can you tell me about the raccoons and kind of their human hands. Um, their fingers are jointed just like ours. They have five little fingers and toes, little pads on the bottom that are extremely soft. And uh, anything really we can do with our hands, I've seen them do so, with their hands. So they could possibly grab some cake. They could grab some cake, yeah. And speaking of, of cake, the baked goods that are here today, tell me about why this is safe for them because the food is made by bakeries that bake for animals. They do not use any preservatives or additives. Um, there's no sugar, there's no chocolate. Everything that is in the cake is safe for them to eat. I'm just getting word that Lee Sheps is clearing the scene so as not to interfere with the reenactment. Only essential camera crew and animal wranglers are on the scene to ensure that the evidence is gathered in a sterile environment. Oh, wait. Do we have Lee Sheps outside the reenactment facility? Lee? Luke, the big question is, did a raccoon steal food from a county fair in Ohio? Paw prints were found at the scene, but cops have not yet caught the culprit. Inside this building behind me, we're about to see whether that could have happened as some suspect. Thank you, Lee. Oh, all right, the experiment is starting. Let's, let's, let's pull up our live feed, guys. It, wow, there it is. That's the county fair scene complete with bows and decorations, and my gosh, those cakes look delicious. It's a cake with a fish on it, two-tier, and then we have one in the shape of a bone. Hmm, okay, interesting. These cakes are animal-friendly, clearly. They're likely meant for dogs. I don't know about you at home, but I would love to eat one of those dog cakes. And by that, I mean a cake for dogs and not made of dogs. Ooh, it appears we have three young raccoons on the prowl here. Whoa, where are they going? Doesn't appear they're going for the cakes, my God. Hey, raccoons, the cake's the other way. They don't seem particularly interested in these baked goods, folks. Wow, they seem like they're more into playing with those props than the cakes. Am I crazy? I know I'm crazy, but they're just not attacking those cakes. This is disheartening and enlightening, and I don't know how to react. We need some perspective here. Can we get Lee Sheps back? Can we can? Lee? Lee, can you hear me? Lee? Lee, there you are. What's the mood like outside the facility? Luke, it's really nail-biting inside. It's very tense. No one knows how this is going to turn out. Well said. We need to let this play out a little longer, but I have to say that the result so far is that they're barely even interested in going to the county fair to have a special time with cake and treats. They're just hanging out off set and playing around. I gotta wonder, my friends, if these raccoons are showing little to no interest in cake, 
Could their cousins in Ohio have been capable of stealing those sweets? Do raccoons hate cake? Can we get Lee back? Lee, in a word, your thoughts on today's result. Luke, it appears the raccoons did not eat the food in our safe taste test. So could a raccoon really be the prime suspect in that theft case? Cops might want to reevaluate a possible perp. For Inside Editions, The Breakdown, I'm Lee Sheps. Thank you, Lee. Wait, what? Hold on. I'm just getting word now that Lee Sheps is rushing back to the newsroom to confront Ann Blair, the county fair representative who said the raccoons were thieves. Well, since we have a moment, those raccoons did such a good job, I'm being informed they're getting rewarded. That's right. They're being rewarded with their favorite fruits, bananas and blueberries. Maybe some kisses on the nose. Fruit is being placed on the county fair set as we speak. Yeah, look at that. They didn't go for the cakes, but the fruit will win them over. Down goes the cake. The two-tier cake is down. God bless them. It's been a long day full of surprises, and they've earned this. He's going to town on that bone cake. That sounds inappropriate. And down goes the bone cake. Look at that. It was just a matter of time, folks. And in the end, the cake known as Mr. Fishy is all that remains unharmed. All three raccoons are now fully at home at that county fair, filling their little bellies with fruit. And frankly, it's just, um, it's just beautiful. Okay, I'm getting word now that Lee Sheps is back in the newsroom and she's ready to confront Ann Blair. It was a raccoon. Let's watch that. And it's been two years. What's the status on the Baked Goods Bandit? Well, the Baked Goods Bandit, um, as far as we know, is still out there. We are uh, searching for him still, um, hoping now that um, you know he's, he's caught soon because fair is coming up. However, we do have some plans. Plans? What kind of plans? Having um, a hunt during the fair for people to be able to find the Baked Goods Bandit. Is the number one suspect still a raccoon? Yes, it is. Yes. Tell me why. There's been traces in the building um, since then, as well as over the winter time, he has left traces. Still traces. So you've gotten more paw prints, you've gotten more fingerprints, you've gotten more evidence, but yet for some reason, you still can't seem to track down this raccoon. He seems to be very clever, um, or he has some um, uh, companions that are actually helping him. So I think there's more than one involved here. Why is this festival so important for your community? Um, the Great Jockey County Fair is the oldest fair in the state of Ohio. We will be celebrating our 200th anniversary in 2022. Um, and it's, it's a great fair. It's very well attended and it's, it brings a lot of people into our community and really put Burton on the map. We did an experiment to see whether a baked goods bandit, this raccoon that you so-called say is the suspect, would eat cakes. And you know what happened? I am not quite sure. I would assume he would because they are quite hungry all the time unless you had a full raccoon. <laughs> the raccoons did not eat those cakes. What do you have to say? Well, I think then maybe the what you guys made was not something that they like. Um, we definitely, our bakers made edible cakes that were for humans. And um, as the evidence showed before, it was very clear that they enjoyed them. Well, Anne, our experiment proved otherwise. So. Do you want to apologize for falsely accusing these raccoons? Um, actually, I don't want to apologize. Maybe your bakers, the raccoons, didn't like how your bakers baked. Are you saying that on the record? Yes. You might want to look at another suspect. That's all I'll say. Okay, I will, I will let our fair directors know that. And now here she is. Hey guys, it's me again, Luke. Different than that, Luke, this is the comment section. This is the Raccoon Show, and there was one comment that really stood out for us this week. Raccoon Clan commented, I'm surprised I'm not on Inside Edition yet. I wear a raccoon mask when I walk my Husky XD. Did you know we were gonna do a Raccoon Show? Congratulations, you made it on Inside Edition. We have Lee Sheps in the studio. Lee, welcome. Hey. Lee, you've had a very long day of reporting, and we are grateful for what you've done for those <laughs> animals. Thank you for your service. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it was a fun putting together. Lee, were you surprised when you confronted Ann Blair of the Geauga County Fair that she refused to back down from her stance that these raccoons were petty thieves? I was surprised, but you can also see why they would blame a raccoon, because they're so prevalent, I guess, in this area that they mm. would just automatically assume it was a raccoon. One thing I've, ever, I've always wanted to do since I was a little boy is hold a raccoon like a baby and rock it to sleep. Have you ever done that? No, no, no. 
You want to hold? You want to hold? Them? No. Are you, are you positive? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. It's not for everybody. I get that. Lee, what else should we know about you and what's it like uh, being a reporter here at Inside Edition? Well, I love being a reporter. I've been a reporter for more than 11 years. Uh -huh. That's my favorite thing to do is to tell other people's stories, Great. especially the heartwarming and inspirational ones like Giovanni Mazza, who's the teen violinist mm -hmm. who performs hip hop at NBA games. And also like teens like Michaela Diamond, who she's a teen and she's playing Cher on Broadway. All right, Lee Sheps, it's time for some raccoon facts. Raccoon facts. Raccoon facts. In this bowl, there are cards. And on the cards? Facts. And the facts are about? Raccoons. Thank you. It's important to mention that neither of us have seen these before. We will be reading these raccoon facts for the very first time. Lee, please take a card and start us off. All right. President Calvin Coolidge had a pet raccoon named Rebecca. Mm. Rebecca was originally meant to become meat for Thanksgiving dinner at the White House, but was adopted by Coolidge instead. Huh. So they opted for a raccoon over turkey. That's that's basically what, what this is. And Thanksgiving was never the same. Raccoon facts. Raccoon facts. Raccoon facts. Raccoon's tiny clawed hands are great for climbing, and they are also very sensitive to touch. Compared with most, please don't read my raccoon facts. <laughs> Compared with most mammals, raccoons have four to five times more sensory cells in their paws. Yeah, they have it so they can use the five finger discount. Raccoon facts. Raccoon facts. Raccoon facts. Raccoons often wash the food they consume. They will pick up a food item, inspect and rub it to remove unwanted bits and pieces before eating it like we do with fruits and vegetables. Oh wow, you've been washing fruits and vegetables? Raccoon facts. Raccoon facts. Raccoon facts. Raccoon facts. There are three species of <laughs> raccoons worldwide, and the species of raccoon in the United States is known as the northern raccoon. Northern raccoons are the heaviest of the species, weighing up to 30 pounds. Well, the American raccoon is the heaviest, and frankly, we're not surprised. Well, they should be because they're eating our garbage, right? They're yeah. eating garbage of food that we eat. And you know we throw away like millions of pounds of, of food. A lot of the garbage. I didn't even know this. there were that many facts about raccoons. I thought it was just like a two-line blurb, and then it's like, they're small and they, got, they eat garbage. Raccoon facts. That was Raccoon Facts. Raccoon Facts. Raccoon Facts. Thanks for watching The Breakdown, guys. Remember, subscribe, like this episode, and comment below so we can bring you the stuff you want to see on this show. And we'll see you next time on The Breakdown.